Coming back to you with another cooking video, type video. <laughs> um, if you're new here, my name is Ruthie. Hello, um, I'm really excited to make these sweet rolls. So, um, I made these like almost a week ago, and it's called Blueberry Sweet Rolls with a Lemon Glaze. They are delicious. I'm trying to find them in my cookbook. They are so good. Um, I made them for the first time, like I said, a week ago. So they're from the Magnolia Table um, cookbook. This is the volume two, and it is delicious. Um, so I made them. The dough on them were so good. I did not make that much glaze on mine when I made them. Maybe I didn't make glaze wrong. I don't know. Um, but it was so good. And... It's, it wasn't too bad to make them either. Um, oh, it actually says that this was her first recipe that they developed for her coffee shop, Magnolia Press. So this was delicious. It was really, really good. It wasn't too hard to make. I actually think this would be the perfect cinnamon roll or sweet roll for like Easter brunch or something. It's really refreshing. It's so good. Um, it's, it doesn't take too long. So the first step we're gonna do is take our stand mixer with a dough hook. We're gonna combine warm milk, yeast, and sugar, butter, and egg. Mix into, um, gradually mix in the flour and salt for about five minutes. Um, increase the speed until the dough is smooth, elastic, elastic, slightly sticky for about three minutes. <sighs> Transfer the dough into a lightly sprayed medium stainless steel bowl. Cover with plastic wrap and let rise in a warm area until doubled in size for one hour. Um, we're gonna take a cup of warm milk. I'm just gonna take the milk. I'm gonna put it in my microwave for like a minute um, and let that warm up. So I have my one cup of warm milk. Um, you could also put it on the stove, but I just you can get it in the microwave just as fast. I have my little stand mixer, and just so I can beat like the milk, the yeast, and the sugar, butter, and egg. I'm just gonna use the whisk one first. I know it says a dough hook. I'm gonna do this one, and then once I add the flowers, then I'll switch to the dough hook. Um, I found that last time it didn't like beat up, like the dough hook doesn't beat up the egg and all that stuff very well. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So one cup of milk, and then we're gonna do one fourth cup yeast packet. I put one of these in here. Um, I hope that this will be okay. Two tablespoons of sugar. I don't know what happened to my tablespoons, so I'm just actually going to do um, uh, six teaspoons. Sorry, I'm losing um, One large egg. Three tablespoons of butter. So I thought I had my butter out already, and I don't. So I'm going to just let this mix real quick. Um, and then I'm going to microwave my butter for like a few seconds and flip it over a couple times. I don't want to melt it, I just want to soften it, so let's do that. One thing I think it's interesting with these sweet rolls is that you actually don't even have to let the dough, um, like the yeast, like proof itself. Like I guess they just expect it to work, I don't know. Um, but. We're just gonna give this another mix. So I'm switching out that whisk and I'm putting on the dough hook now. We're gonna slowly incorporate three cups of flour and then I think it's a teaspoon? A teaspoon of salt. So let's do that. dough is done. Looks so good. So I'm just going to spray a bowl. Um, and I honestly just going to spray this one, but I think I'm just going to take this one out. I'm going to hold my dough. 
done. <laughs> and I'm just gonna slightly spray inside this bowl and then basically put it back. This dough smells so good. It actually kind of tastes like, um, if you ever had Portuguese sweet bread, I should probably, I think I'm actually gonna share a video on how to make Portuguese sweet bread on my channel soon, especially with Easter coming up um, for like all my, I think I'm gonna show it for like all like my people who wanna learn how to make Portuguese sweet bread because it's so, e it's not easy. It's, it is easy. It's just time consuming, but it's so good and Easter's coming up. So I think I may show that on my channel. I think I'm gonna do that. But this dough, like this, the, um, the dough part of the, the sweet roll literally kind of tastes like sweet bread. Even my mom and stepdad both said that when they tried it for the first time. They're like, you know what it kind of reminds me of? It's sweet bread. I'm like, yes, it does. The dough does taste a lot like sweet bread. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and cover this in saran wrap and then I'm actually gonna store this inside my oven. Because my house is a little cold right now, the oven is probably the safest, warmer spot with no draft. So we're gonna put that and we're gonna do it for, we're gonna keep it wrapped up in a warm spot for about an hour. Um, until it double in size and then we will oh my nose is itchy then we will roll it out and do everything like that so let's put this in the oven we have the bread rising or the dough rising we're going to go ahead and make the filling um, because you need to have this filling cool for like 30 minutes before you put it to the dough medium high heat and we're going to cook um, one cup of frozen blueberries and a third cup of sugar and then one tablespoon of corn starch and basically just keep mixing it until it kind of gets into like a syrupy consistency so let's do that One tablespoon of cornstarch, so I'm going to do three teaspoons. I use cornstarch for everything. Anytime I need to thicken anything up, I always use cornstarch. So we're gonna stir this until it gets to a boil and then we're gonna kinda let it thicken up until it gets um, like a thick like syrupy consistency like I said. And then once it does that, we'll take it off and we will let it cool for 30 minutes because again, we don't want anything hot in our dough because it'll start to kinda like cook the dough. So you want it to be cooled off completely. So we're just going to cook this up. It smells so good already. I was actually telling my mom, it would be amazing to make this with like a strawberry filling I'm like obsessed. Like I didn't, I never realized like how easy like cinnamon rolls always were, um, or like sweet rolls or anything like that. I always were like, I was always really intimidating, intimidated with like rolling it out and everything. But it's really not that bad. So definitely give it a try if you're nervous. Like trust me when I say I am not the baker. Um, I try my best to like follow recipes and stuff, but like I'm not the best. But this is like really easy. I promise you can do it too. So I transferred the blueberries into this bowl and as you can see it's like thick and delicious it's really hot so I'm just putting it over here to cool off this has to cool for 30 minutes and my dough still has about 30 minutes of rising so this is perfect and then I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit and then um it says here so once this 30 minutes is done we'll lightly spray the 9 by 13 baking pan with the uh, baking pan with baking spray so it says punch down the to release the air and transfer to a lightly floured surface roll the dough into a 12 by 18 rectangle dusting with up to a fourth cup of flour as needed to prevent sticking um, using the spatula spread the filling over the dough leaving a half an inch of border starting on a short side roll up the dough tightly away from you to make the to make a 12 inch long roll using a sharp knife or uncoated dental floss, cut the dough um, into 12 one inch thick slices, place them cut side up in the prepared pan, cover with plastic wrap, let them rise double in size for another 45 minutes, preheat oven, bake for like 60 to 18 minutes, and it's gonna be delicious. We are going to make the sweet rolls now. It's been um, rising for an hour. Um, I just greased down my baking pan. Um, 
And I have my dough here, so I'm just gonna punch it down. And then I'm actually gonna just take some dough, or dough, <laughs> flour and sprinkle it down. Yeah. Gauge it as you go. Um, I'm just going to take my dough and plop it down. Oh, I'm gonna hold my sleeves up. I'm going to kind of roll this out and I just have my rolling pin. And I'm gonna kind of flour it up a little bit because this is like a rubber one, which is great. Roll this out. Um, so last time I did this, it, rolled, it was pretty easy. Um, I just, it was the pouring of the, like, filling that skeeps me down a little because it was all, like, pouring out, um, and I'm not quite sure why. I don't know if it's something I did, if it, I don't know, but it ended up being fine. It just oozed out a lot, which I think it's also just because it's a jam, almost, and it's not, um, like, a cinnamon roll where it's just like stuck into the dough almost um and it's liquid so it kind of just pours out i don't know we're just gonna roll this out so we're just gonna kind of spoon it into the middle Now we're just going to, let me actually, I don't know, I'm so scared. Okay, so we're just gonna start rolling from the inner portion to the outer portion, and we're just gonna go as tight as we can. Oh, it's really starting to ooze. Oh my god. We'll clean it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Wait. Two, four, six, eight, nine pieces. I'm supposed to get 12, but maybe I just don't roll it tight enough. I don't know. I'm not a pro, but I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap these and then I'm gonna let them rise for another like 45 minutes. Hey guys, I just preheated the oven at 350. Our rolls have risen. Ah, I'm so excited. The dough just smells so delicious. Like, oh, so good. So we're gonna bake this in the oven for 16 to 18 minutes. Last time I cooked it, oh, look at all of them. This one looks so jacked up right here. <laughs> Um, I, mean, I did have to cook them for the full 18 um, because it just seemed a little doughy still. Um, but we're going to see how this goes. No, I have to cook it still, honey. So after the 18 minutes of cooking, I will go ahead and make the glaze. Um, and I'm so excited. I'm like, just thinking about these, my mouth is watering, okay? There, my sweet rolls have been in there for like 18 minutes now. I'm adding just an additional two minutes because I want them to get a little bit more brown on top. Well, we're gonna make the lemon glaze. So make the lemon glaze in a small bowl. You're gonna whisk together the lemon zest, lemon juice, melted butter, powdered sugar, and salt. Um, so we're going to put all that together. I have to actually melt this, so let me put this in the microwave. A tablespoon of melted butter. I'm gonna do three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. I'm gonna take just half of a lemon and I'm gonna squeeze it in here. I probably should have zested it first so i'm just gonna zest this side you guys can't even see what i'm doing what? nothing we're going to add one in the third fourth cup of powdered sugar so wait no sorry one cup wait one and three fourths of a cup
final result. They look so good. I'm actually about to bring some to my mom's house right now so she can have some. <sighs> they smell so delicious. I will say, I feel like the icing is so much better this time than I did last time. Um, way creamier, so go slower. But I do think you only need like one and a half cups of the powdered sugar. That's my personal opinion. Um, do what you want to do, but that's what I think. But this is like one of my favorite rolls, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.